Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Nat Walsh with you here today. I have a card. We're going to do a birthday card. This is actually a card for my son. And I know he doesn't watch my YouTube. He doesn't watch my YouTube. So I think we're pretty good. But, you know, he's a young adult, a young, older teenager. What is he? He's... He's a young adult, I suppose. He's not actually officially an adult, but he's not a teenager either. Anywho, I am using, so yeah, don't tell him. If you know what it is, if you know who he is, don't tell him. His birthday is coming up on Tuesday, the 7th of March. So after that, it'll be all good. I have some blue navy cardstock. This is just some stamping up cardstock out of my stash. I've got black soot and faded jeans, and we've just left a nice little highlight in the middle. I'm going to dry that off because we're going to do a little bit of embossing. I'm not terribly worried about the embossing powder going everywhere because of the nature of the stamp. It's not a clean, shall we say, clean stamp. I It does come with a stamp block on of its own because this is pretty it's pretty darn massive but it's pretty cool I decided that I might want to stamp it a couple of times and honestly I did so we put that in the misty but you know you could do it either way this stamp set is from Stampers Anonymous it is called Bubbles and then I've got a lawn fawn die called hooray just keep it simple this is what i find with male cars just keep it simple it doesn't have to be well it can't be florally because it's a masculine card but you know it doesn't have to be a lot of things it could just have a nice little sentiment what you don't see so we'll come back to that in a minute um, I've got some gold, and go gold embossing powder. As I said, I'm not terribly worried about the embossing powder going everywhere, but we will tidy up that little corner. I just thought it would be a little bit of fun to have it just going over that top corner on the top of the card. I'm going to heat set that. Now, what you don't see because my camera shot off is um, me gluing my all my hoorays together. So what you're about to see is that I have three pieces of cardstock. I am going to cut all those out and we're going to glue all those together. There we have it. Now this was, it was not too bad, but it was just a bit too dark. The white I thought felt was going to be a little bit too stark. So we're going to color that. I've kept it in the negative die cut purely because figure that was going to be easier for me to hide to hold it sort of was well and truly stuck in there yes my plates need to clean and they are actually now clean because you will see in a little while there's a reason why they're now clean so i've got e49 i've got e08 which is a tip that you can't see yr23 i'm also going to have y35 and y02 I am not coloring the whole lot first off because that's a big image to be coloring it in one foul swoop. So we're just going to do it in little second sections. I'm going to use the tip to tip technique to just get the dark color blended a little bit better because it is such a large area that we're coloring. So I'm just putting the the tip of the E08 onto the darker E49 and this is just going to provide that middle a medium color between the two I'm actually going to do that a few times I'm going to do it again with the Y is right there the YR23 onto the E08 because an 8 down to a 3 is quite a fair bit of a jump so this is just going to help us should we say bridge that gap a little bit more and allow the blending to go through 
Now, doesn't this just look like a hot mess? It just looks terrible. But we all know if we crafted, crafted for any length of time, um, we know that this is just clearly an in-between stage and this is the Y35. And once it all comes off, it's like masking. I love masking. I really do. It, again, it just looks like a complete and utter mess. My favorite card, which is in the, you want to make playlists by the Copics, uh, that I will put up in the corner here. It, there's a mushroom card. There's a, like a, it's, They've got birds of paradise all around it and a little mushroom. This is where space jump here. My marker hit my plates and grabbed a little bit of a dark piece of cardstock and made a little mark. But as you can see there, can't see it. But rest assured, they are clean. I was just being lazy. Let's be honest here. Just pretty much being lazy. I forgot what I was going to say. Yes, the mushroom. So it's got Birds of Paradise and like a little mushroom house in the center of it. If you watch through that video, it actually just looks terrible. <laughs> I'm not going to deny it. It looks absolutely terrible. But then you take all the masks off and it's just like, that looks cool. That looks very cool. So it's it's one of my favorite things to do is just the fact that these things don't look too good until they actually do. I decided I could have left it there. I will totally admit that I could have left it there. I did put a little bit of these confetti sequins. This is just out of my stash. I don't know. I think I got it online. I don't really know where. And but lots of people have them. Lots of places have them. And I'm just playing with making sure that they're singular because they do stick together a little bit. And I'm really happy with that. So we're just going to put these down with a little bit of multi matte medium. I, this is the part where I could have left it after putting these down. I decided, mostly because it looked really dark in my camera, that I wanted some white highlights. I don't know why because I don't usually do white highlights because they make everything look shiny but that's what I did and I did it down the in the dark I don't know why so right there I think because I wanted the bottom of it to stand out which is not terrible but I didn't like it so to fix that because I don't like to start all over again we're going like I like the top of the in the lighter color with the whites, but it's just all wrong. There's not going not going to be a highlight in the darker color. It's just no. So, got some glossy accents, and we're going to make that puppy shine. Now you have to be a little bit careful, obviously, not putting too much on. I've skipped ahead of this a little bit because you don't need to sit there and watch me fill in all my letters. You do need to be just make sure you have a little pin handy that you can pop your little bubbles. And that is my card. That's it. So I hope my son likes it. I hope you are well. Take care and I will talk to you very, very soon. Bye.